Hi guys, Scorn here, and welcome to X-Plane 11. This is X-Plane 11 Beta. I've got my grubby little paws on it today, I've been having a very quick play around. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of impressed, but there are still some issues. It is a beta, I must emphasise this. There are definitely bugs in this right now, and they've sent it to uh, certain sort of people in the press, of which I'm thankfully one of them, and we've been explicitly told, you know, there are, there are bugs, please report them. So. I have seen a few bits and pieces, uh, one of them which was particularly amusing was to do with the 747. But that aside, it seems to be holding up pretty well. Now, the, the thing that struck me the most about this was uh, the lighting. X-Plane 10 was, had a bit of a reputation for being a, a little bit dark and gloomy, and a lot of it was to do with the rendering. And as you can see right now, the rendering is way better. Look at the fuselage sheen. Look at the lighting, the shadow. Everything is just massively improved. X-Plane has always had a pretty good uh, sort of light effect. Um, uh, in terms of its graphics, its lighting was good, but the actual rendering of the aircraft was, was not really very good. But that's clearly been fixed. If I was to fast forward time now, you can see that the actual lighting is still as good as it ever was. In terms of the lighting at night, it is utterly fantastic. If we just zoom out here, you'll get an idea. And one thing, look at the look at the runway. Look how it, it basically dips down. Runways in real life are not level. And as you can see, they've actually accurately modeled the runway level in this. Absolutely fantastic. It looks so good. Flying around this looks amazing. Also, I've noticed you can see the shadows casting on the ground from the from the clouds. Can you see that? Like the effects that are moving across. Now, the thing is about this, this is default scenery. Like, I have nothing installed. This is out of the box, X-Plane 11. And I have to say, that is genuinely very, very impressive. Look at that. Like, normally, to get a, a flight sim to this kind of level, you need to install quite a few add-ons. You know, aircraft, uh, maybe some cloud. The atmospherics, you need to mess about to get it to look like this. But this is pure out of the box. Very, very cool. The other thing, the big thing that's changed as well is just the whole UI. If you move the mouse up here now, you get this kind of menu system going on. And over here, uh, you have the major functions such as pause, like that. If you click that, it pauses the game. If you click on this, it will bring you into the flight configuration where you can control uh, the weather that you want. So you can either go for this kind of high level predetermined clear cirrus scattered broken blah 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 uh, you can go for that uh, or you can uh, customize it and change everything about it you know everything from the the cloud levels and layers the wind you can also slide along here to adjust the time and then up here you know i think i showed you this in my preview video um well the raf cosford x 11 uh, thing we saw this for the first time but you can see in x 11 beta this is what we've got access We've got a, a floating uh, Skyhawk down here, which could be quite cool uh, for a later time. We've even got a free helicopter here, Sikorsky S67, uh, sorry, an S76C. We've got a glider, which must be really cool. I need to try that at some point. Uh, we've got the 737-800, which is the one that you're in. And these are built-in aircraft. These are not third-party add-ons. They're not available at the moment. Uh, MD-82, that's the Rotate, and, the, and a Boeing 747-400, which I've had a couple of issues with. And then in the terms of the GA stuff, we've got the Beechcraft Baron 58, the Cessna Skyhawk, the Cirrus Vision SF50, which is hilarious, and the King Air C90. I'll just take off in the 737-800, and then I'll come back to the uh, I'll come back to the runway in the Cirrus, and, and we'll have a look at that because it is quite funny. All right, so let's jump in the cockpit, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna configure this up properly. I'm here just to have a very quick mess about to give you a feel for this X-Plane 11. I'm going to put some flaps in there. Uh, camera, where are you? Oh, my track IR is in need of adjustment. All right, let's go flaps 15. We'll go RTO. Uh, we shall knock on some lights. Uh, let's see what we've got. Oh, they're all actually on. 
amazingly enough. Okay. Interesting. I can't actually put that onto continuous. Maybe that's not built into the... Uh... So let's go for... Say... 2,500 on the altitude. Uh, we'll turn on the flight directors. I haven't played around with the, the whole FMS on this at all. That's, again, for a later date. Right now, I just want to take off and uh, and show you some stuff. Uh, trim is... Let's bring the trim to the... Okay. Let's throttle up a little. Oh, it's 747. Look at this. Wow. Let's get out of her way. Okay. Let's release the parking brake. And throttle up. See you later, bro. Let's move the mouse out of the way. Well, look at that. Look at the way the runway kind of goes up and then levels out. Okay, it's 110 knots, 120 knots. And lift back. Oops, no, lift back. There we go. Let's gear up. Okay, we're getting a TCAS alert. We've got traffic in our area. Okay, right, let's see if we can get the autopilot in. Uh, let's go for a speed. I should have set this up, shouldn't I? Let's go for like 200. Let's throttle back a bit here. Right, command A can go in, uh, speed can go in. We'll bring that back. Uh, we'll go for level change to two and a half thousand. I should go heading select. Oh, the engines are going to blow up. Blimey, what was that? <laughs> I thought the engines are going to blow then. Let's do a complete U turn and then we'll go outside. Oh, that's annoying. I need to change the mouse wheel. The mouse wheel zooms as well as mouse wheeling to change the actual dials, which is a little bit irritating. So I need to remap that one. But there she is in the air. Looks pretty good. Like I say, look, default scenery, and it looks very, very good. Nice water effect. Spin that around even more. Now, the actual engine audio on the default is not fantastic. If you're used to, like, a, something, you know, like a payware, you're not, you know, it's not at that level in terms of the audio. But for a default aircraft, this is not bad at all, is it? Look at this. Not bad at all. The skinning is really good. But, yeah, I mean, out of the box, you can certainly have a play. If we just are just lighting it, we'll see how the bay looks completely differently. Look at that. That is unbelievable sun going down and then the lighting kicks in and of course x-plane 11 lighting being what it is look at this let's keep accelerating time and sunrise there you go so that's the 737 but if we want to take a proper look what we'll do is we'll flick back uh, we'll change the flight and we'll go back and have a go with the Cirrus. The Cirrus is great fun. Let's click customize on that, see if there's anything we can do. Weight balance, fuel, failures. Uh, let's take, oh no, that's, I thought there'd be a skin option here. Weight balance and fuel. Let's start a new flight. Caution. Right, let's have a look at this from the outside. So this, this is, oh, oh wow, uh oh. Stay there pal. I think I just jumped in a spot though. Um, this is absolutely hilarious. It's like a little rocket. It's so cool. It's got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Look like, you know, five passengers and a pilot by the look of it. There might even be one back there, you know. Hang on. One, two. Yeah, it might. It looks like a five passenger plus, plus pilot. It's got the split wing. Uh, so obviously it's got the combined, um, combined rudder and, um, elevator like that so it's just it's like the x shape 
You've got this single engine on the back which pushes its air right across there. Look at that. It's such a cool design. And it looks a bit like a dolphin, I think. It's cute, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't half flipping go. Let's, uh, let's dial the lighting down a bit, and we'll jump in the cockpit here. It's all like mod con in here. Utterly mod con. Let's drop in some flaps. Let's throttle up a little bit. And we'll have a bit of fun. Right, full power. Let's keep it on track. The other thing is, uh, X-Plane 11 instantly recognized, recognized my Warthog controller and just showed a nice picture of it. I'll show you that in a second, actually. I'll show you the mappings. It's really cool. Alert. Okay, gear up. Look at that. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. Let's go flaps up. Okay, we'll bank to the right. Let's ignore the TCAS. I should have just turned off the aircraft for now. It's got built-in ATC, which is not bad at all. Alright, let's accelerate the lighting a little bit. I should bring it down a bit. Let's, let's have a look at the lighting at night. Get a feel for it. Let's back off the throttle a little. There you go. Now that is the beauty of X-Plane right there. Just the whole lighting at night is extraordinarily good. Absolutely sumptuous. Okay, let's slow down a bit. But this thing is just an unbelievable little rocket. I love it. I can't wait to fly this more. It's so cute, cute and so cool. And it's not sluggish. Like if you want to fly a light aircraft like a Cessna or something, you know, it's not quick. But this is already doing well over 200 knots, and I've had to throttle it back. It looks like it's got a full kind of uh, GPS system built in. I think. Don't quote me on that. I've not actually played with it. But it's definitely modern, look at it. Oh, it's like an Airbus, it's got a flight stick. Complete lack of yoke. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, so if we bring up the light in, I want to go downtown. We'll fly down here. Let's bring up the light, there you go. Look at that now. Yeah, there's downtown, let's go and go visit downtown and see what it's like. So I will cover x 11 in more detail. I'll look at the different aspects of it as we approach release. Uh, but for now, I just thought we'd take off and uh, give you an idea of, of what to expect uh, out the box. The detail is incredible. Look at all the traffic on the road. The scenery generation is actually fantastic. Like, it is utterly believable down there. Look at it. And the thing is, is when we get over to the downtown area as well, you'll see there's just so many high-rise buildings. So look, look at the traffic. It's incredible. It looks so good. Let's bring up the sun a bit. There we go, a nice sunny day. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, as you, as you kind of get in down here now, look. Look at that high-rise stuff going on there. And there's like aerial masks going on. The foliage. And the frame rates are still super good. And I've, I've not maxed out the settings, but I've put them on pretty high. The only thing I've noticed is, if you look, that there's no reflections at the moment. I've had to turn off the reflection. If I turn reflections on, I get this really weird problem, which I assume is a bug. I'm going to report uh, that problem to them. It, other people may be fine, but, yeah, I don't know. On mine, it doesn't seem to work very well. But look at that. That is... That is pretty amazing, don't you think? For out of the box, that is pretty amazing. Okay, let's watch what we're doing here. Definitely don't want to crash. I'm trying to show you the scenery, but without dying. Let's 
stupid mouse. The mouse needs to be turned off automatically. Look at that. Wowzers. That's not bad at all, is it, eh? Not bad at all. Right, let's sort of fly back that way. Let's try just in the light a bit more. Makes me wonder, because like when I installed it, there was um there was options on what scenery I wanted to download, like different parts of the world and stuff. So I just told it to download everything. And it was like quite a few gigabytes download, but I didn't expect it to look quite this good. I mean the the, the OSM data it looks like it's uh pretty bang on to me. It's long shadows. There we go. Let's head back and see if we can land this thing. Ooh. Do we go for that? Oh, there you go. Let's go for that kind of very red. Oh, there it is. I think the airport's down that way. So I've not I've not played with any of this, this aircraft. I don't even know this aircraft at all, to be honest. I'm just messing about on it. So I've not tried to play with any of its instrumentations. But I will do. I'll give it a play and see what kind of features it has. And the same with the 737. I'm going to give that a go as well. See what that can do. Look at that. Super cool. There's no release date as yet on X-Plane 11, so I know we're going to get a bunch of comments saying when does this release. I don't know. That They have not announced it. If you remember from my Cosford show, he did say this year, um, which given that we're over halfway through November, the beta period's going to have to go, look at that, the beta period's going to have to go pretty well to release in, in uh, December, I would think. So we'll see. Right, let's get a bit of altitude here, because I need to slow down. I don't want to get visibility on the runway. Um, we've got three runways, I think. So we'll go, we'll go mid. We'll go mid. I'm completely risking hitting something because I've not tried to file a flight plan with the, the built-in ATC, so... It could end up with something trying to get down the runway as I turn up and start landing. We'll see what happens. Right now I'm just enjoying myself. x 10 out of the box look nothing like this. This is... This is the whole deal right here. This is... This is scenery. This is decent built-in aircraft. Great performance. 64-bit. This is uh, this is a heck of a package. This is a basic platform. It's not bad at all. Okay, I'm fighting with this baby right now. Let's get the speed back up. Okay. There we go. We've stabilised. Gear down to full flaps. And we shall trim out a little bit. Don't know what the landing speed is, but I can see the stall speed is about 85, 90, so I'm going to try and keep it about 100 or so. Beautiful. What a view. But yeah, I'll, cl I'll play with the weather system as well and show you guys that. What I'll do is I'll land and just quickly show you the controller input settings. If you remember x 10, controller inputs was, well, it was one of the not-so-great things about it. But it's all changed. The way that you configure this this platform now is massively changed. Lots of traffic on the road, look at that. Fantastic. So from what I've seen, and bear in mind it's only a few hours of X-Plane 11, from what I've seen, I'm pretty excited. This, this is really good. Okay. Throttle down, let it glide. And touchdown. Let's throttle back. A little bit off center.
cool. Let's try and follow this turn off. Let's clean up the flaps. Doesn't it look awesome though? Okay, let's pull up over here. I didn't have my landing lights on or anything. What's that? Is this all the lighting down here? Electrical, master oxygen, windshield. Okay, I'll figure out all the lighting for next time as well. Not to worry. Oh, it was on. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on each side. That's fine. The lights were already on. Yeah, so I mean, that is, you know... That's what it's like at the moment. Let's have a quick look. So if you go up here and then click on the uh, settings there, it brings up all this stuff. And if you go to graphics, then you can configure your graphics settings in here, like your field of view that you want. You can see what effects I'm using. I've put it on HDR, uh, maximum textures. I put it on maximum anti-aliasing. We've got a high number of, of objects. And I turned the reflection right down because there's a bug at the moment for me. So I've, I've dialed that right back. Uh, in terms of the joystick and stuff, like I say, it completely picked up my Warthog. This is my Warthog here. And it also picked up my uh, my crosswind. It doesn't show you the crosswind with a pedal, but it does show you a picture of the Warthog. And what you can do is you can configure the major components uh, or you can click on other controls and then you can configure any of the buttons on there. So it's very, very detailed, uh, very, very cool, very easy to do. And then obviously on your keyboard command, you've, you've got search parameters up here. So you can search for things like, you know, park, whatever, parachute, blah, blah, blah. Anything you like, it's all in here. So, you know, I've not played with this in depth, but they've greatly improved everything. There's the sound there. I turned the radios right down. And, uh, yeah, it's it's so different. It's so much easier to play with. I did notice one thing. It has a built-in video recorder here. Uh, you, you can configure the settings that you want there, what frame rate you want, what width you want, and then the quality. And if you press Control Space, it just starts recording. In terms of other features, there's all things I haven't played with yet, such as the uh, failures, weight balance. You've got different views that you can go for. Oh, there was, which was the one I wanted to show you? There was a cool... Um, that was it. If you click up here, there you go. That brings up the map. And then you've got VFR sectional diagrams that you can just zoom in on, like this. And then you've got IFR. So you can see the IFR flight routing. And you can even see, look at this, you can see the 747 you can see it live as it's flying past. And you can see any kind of approach paths that are coming in. You can see all this stuff going on. It's unbelievably cool. So yeah, that I've got, I've got to play around with that a bit more as well. But yeah, there's so much stuff to play with and I haven't even scratched the surface of it yet. Uh, I just wanted to give you a very quick video uh, just to show you where things are at with X-Plane 11. I, I, like I say, I received it today. And I just wanted to quickly show you what's going on with it. I shall do more videos very soon. Don't worry about that when I've had a play. Uh, that's it from me, though. Take care, guys. Happy flying.